fruit I have found from starting from the truth of who I always am ends the game of stories towards it. Yes. What, what do you have to share on that, the creators? Well, you see that, as we were saying before, you get to go back and forth so that you do not need to hold on to that truth forever and ever more at this point in your evolution. You get to let go of the stories, let go of any sense of identity as an individual, as an ego, and instead you get to experience yourself as truth, as all it is, as love and light. But you also get to go back and have the experience of yourself as an individual who does have a past and who does have stories and desires and all those things. So you get to experience both at this point and both are lovely experiences. Both are worth having. And in fact, they play off of each other quite nicely. Because it is sort of like having the experience of hot and cold. You do like having the experience of cold relative to hot and hot relative to cold because Having both experiences gives you an appreciation for the other. You appreciate air conditioning when you have been out in the sun in 100 degree heat for any amount of time. And you get to appreciate both of these ways of knowing yourself as having stories and having no stories. And that is why you are continuing. That is why you don't suddenly become a point of light, a single point of consciousness merging with the all. In that moment that you know yourself as the truth, as you put it, as love and light. So continue to enjoy the duality that you do experience because... It is a very rich experience to know both. And what you will find is that you begin to blend the two and there is less and less of that sense of duality and more and more of a sense that you are both. You are combining and merging and integrating all these different ways of knowing yourself for the powerful experience of knowing yourself both as an individual and as all that is. It is a wonderful game you are all playing. Mm. 